Welcome to Linux classes. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is process management. So in this lecture, we are going to understand what is a process, what are different steps of a process like your running process, sleeping process, zombie process, uninterruptible sleeping process. There are different steps of process. We'll also understand what are the various commands which can be used to find out what are the running process in your system. So let's start. So what is a process? In simple words or simple definition of a process is it is a set of instructions loaded in a memory that is called a process. When you execute a program on your a Linux or Unix based system, the system creates a special environment for that program. This environment contains everything needed for the system to run the program. Say for example, suppose you have type a command ls. You will get some output. So what happened here? It creates and start a new process. You just type ls and enter. At the back end what will happen? A process will be initiated. Who initiated this process? Your kernel who is working at the back end. They have initiated a process and they have also allocated certain amount of memory and CPU to the new process. And in result what we got? We got the output of the ls command. It will list out the content of the directory. So we have simplified ls command and the back end the kernel has allocated a process for that and that process the new process which has been initiated it requires certain amount of memory and CPU and that has been allocated by your kernel and in result we what we got we got some output so this is called the process your operating system tracks processes through a unique ID number that is called process ID every process which is running on your system is having a process ID and which is denoted by PID PID is eventually repute because of all possible numbers are used up but we need to keep in mind at any point of time no two processes with the same PID exist in the system because it is the PID that your Linux or Unix uses to track the each process so this is the simple idea about process here you can see in the PPT there are different commands which can be used to find out the current processes running on your system so PS is the command which will report a snapshot of the current processes PS hyphen A it will give you the process which is running on all your terminals like your virtual terminals suppose you know when you will open your system you have connected your system via the terminal we have few virtual terminals as well in the virtual terminals you have run different different commands at the background so with this command you can find out what are the things what are the processes running on all the terminals no worries we'll have the lab session on that ps hyphen e list out all the processes which is running on your system and ps hyphen o denotes your customer properties what does it mean it means that suppose you want to create your own command so you have to use the customer property hyphen o option then you can see that what i have used here tty for the terminal command pid percentage memory and percentage cpu so with this command what will happen whatever the output i am getting about the process it will be according to my requirement i want that the output should have the pid i want the output should have memory i want our output should have the cpu I want the output should have the nice value as well so I can create my own command as well so for that I have to use the customer properties which has been used by hyphen o option the next is you can see the common display listing option this is the very common command ps hyphen aux and it will display all the process with columns in which the users will be interested and includes process without a controlling terminal so here you can see that what I have used I have used simple command ps hyphen aux hyphen aux if you are using that is similar to hyphen ps aux and you can see that the output that is more understandable a long listing options you can also use this lax as well which provides more technical details 
and this output is more or less same as PS hyphen EF output as well. This is the output you can see there. Now here this is the PID, this is the PPID, and this is S number. So these are the different numbers. UID is basically the user ID that this process belongs to the you can say the person running it who is running the process PID is the process ID and PPID is your parent process ID and C is your CPU utilization of the process C is the CPU utilization of the process S time is your process start time when your process has been started TTY is your terminal type associated with the process this is the terminal type that's why it is showing question mark and time the CPU time taken by the process what is the time that will be taken by the CPU by the process so that would be as time CMD the command that is started with the process so this is the basic idea about this command output so friend that's all for this lecture thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture and we'll have a lot of lab session as well so thanks for watching